Four chefs get $25,000 each. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> to win, they must survive three culinary challenges and each other. It's called Pro Bitch! This is a game where sabotage is not only encouraged. You have to do all your cooking with this used tube of paper towel. Chef, you gotta get stabbed in the leg. Listen up, somebody's dying tonight. It's for sale. Six thousand. Seven thousand. I'm Alton Brown, and I'm get insane. It's just a little game we like to call. Cutthroat bitches. Hi, I'm Allie. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Spokane, Washington, and I am obsessed with cooking. I wake up, I cook, I I cook. Um, actually, here's a photo of me cooking on our Greece vacation. Um, here's another one of us, you know, on the beach and. Look at cooking, she's so cute. She wanted me to like put her like on a little suitcase and I just, I just love cooking. Hi, my name's Chef Erin, I'm 20. I had a food truck, I'm self-taught. I didn't go to culinary school like those fancy people, but my sister, she's a caterer. And that 25,000 is as good as mine. What's your specialty, shrimp? Well, you know what they say, dynamite comes in small packages. Hi, I'm Chef Jessica. I've been cooking since I was six months old, and I made it into culinary school by the time I was seven and a half, and by the time that I was nine, I became the head chef of Marilla, and so you could say I have a little bit of experience. What is this, a beauty pageant or something? Well, you gotta be this tall to ride the roller coaster, sweetie. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chef Joy, I'm 19 years old. Being the youngest competitor in the competition can be a little intimidating. Um, I also don't have any culinary experience. I don't cook for myself at all. I kind of thought this was a different show, to be honest. Look at Mr. Tall Guy over here. Tree Guy. Yeah, Tall Eve. I mean, make like a tree leaf. Now, chefs, here in this suitcase, I have $25,000. Now, this money will be yours if you win the competition. Now, the kicker here, contestants, is you only get to keep what you don't spend. Because I'm offering sabotages. Chefs, please come up and grab your money. Chefs, you will have 15 minutes to shop in the pantry for everything you may need for. I'm feeling spaghetti. Now. Oh, yeah! Yes! Oh. Your pantry time begins now. Hey! Get out of my party! Move again! Five, four, three, two, one, 13 minutes and 59 seconds. 13 minutes and 50. <laughs> what might appear to be a harmless rubber band is actually a terrible sabotage. If you win this item, you get to choose any opponent and they have to tie their big toe to their second toe for the whole challenge. $500. $25,000. Suckers. It's Cutthroat Kitchen. I'm gonna be Cutthroat. I am so glad that I spent that $25,000. I seriously could not have handled that sabotage. I'm currently dealing with a little bit of an ingrown toenail, and so that would have been a massive problem for me. Here you go, chef. I'm just so glad that I didn't get this sabotage. I mean, I'm already handcuffed to this tiny little table. I'm literally on my hands and knees, basically. I have Alton Brown's old ass sweatshirt just draped over my face. I can't see anything. All I can say is 25,000, well spent. You have to cook the worst thing that you possibly can. You basically lose. I should not have spent that 25,000. Yes, 
I'd like to remind you that our judge is in a soundproof room. They do not know any of the events that transpired. They do not know what sabotages you got or who got them. With that, I'll introduce our judge today. Miss Martina Webster, will you come on in? Chef Martina, it's good to have you. Now we have four spaghetti dishes here for you today. So what I'm looking for today is a nice, hearty spaghetti. Something that really brings me back home to my roots. Shall we give them a taste? So Chef, today I really went back to my Italian roots. You know, my grandfather is from Sicily and I did my take on a traditional spaghetti. So it's actually a curry sauce, and I personally prefer to have my shells extremely al dente for a nice texture, so I hope you enjoy. Chef, look, I like my noodles al dente, but this, I mean, it's, it's raw. You didn't cook these noodles. And this curry paste, I, it doesn't say Italian to me. Yes, yeah, Chef. Thank you, Chef. What I have for you today, Chef, is uh, my take on deconstructed spaghetti. Chef Aaron, I think you had a good idea going here. The sauce is a is it's needed though. You know, it's this. This is just noodles. Thank you, Chef. Um, spaghetti. Uh, it's it is spaghetti. Okay. And I I feel the presentation mm -hmm. is just a little lacking. So, Chef, today I've prepared for you al dente pasta. I wanted to add a little arugula here to bring a little life back into the dish. And then I have two tomato compotes here for you to try. I think the arugula is a nice touch of freshness. It lightens up the dish. It gives it some color. It's a little playful. Well, thank you, Chef. But, Chef, as you know, we can't all be winners. No, we can't. For that reason, I'm gonna have to eliminate Chef Joy. What? What? <laughs> Take it back, I don't care. I cannot believe they sent that home. That, did you see the other plates? This culinary challenge is just a simple grilled cheese. When I heard the words grilled cheese, I immediately relax. I'm a huge stoner. I know how to make a grilled cheese. I love grilled cheese. I grew up on grilled cheese. I ate at all three meals of the day. I'm obsessed with grilled cheese. My middle name is grilled cheese. My dad is literally a grilled cheese sandwich. I once even f a grilled cheese sandwich. So I leave the pantry, I get back to my station, and I look down and I forgot the bread and the cheese. Chef Ali, I'm sorry, you just, you didn't have the bread, you didn't have the cheese, and it didn't remind me of my childhood, so, I'm so sorry, but you are eliminated. I cannot believe that I got sent home this round. My grilled cheese was better than anything those judges could ever make, but I guess they just couldn't see my talent and my vision. We are cooking up popsicles! That's right, chefs, it's popsicles. And now, chefs, there will be only one sabotage in this round, and here it is. Just a simple little bowl of dog food that you have to incorporate into your popsicle treats. Who wants to start the bidding at? Oh, Chef Jessica, you have oh, no money left. Shoot. That's right. Oh, thanks. I can't wait to use this. Stupid mother f How the f could you do that to me? Who do you think you are? Now, this dog food challenge would be hard to sum, but to any trained chef, this would be a breeze. So, uh, today I made a shaved ice party for your mouth. Um, it has some zesty orange and raspberry flavors mixed in there, frozen to an ideal temperature. Chef, I like that you really were thoughtful about what you wanted to do with your dish. It really takes me back to my childhood. Um, I used to have popsicles like these all the time. I think it's a really nice tribute to summer and just my personal childhood memories. 
So today I wanted to do something a little bit different, and so I made a frozen meat popsicle with kind of a little beef compote in the middle surrounded by sort of a savory bread wrapping, devoid of the popsicle stick. Chef Jessica, I like your creativity. I think you went a little too far from home on this one though. It just kind of tastes like dog food. For those reasons, Chef Jessica, I'm sorry. You're out. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess I'm excited. I, I got some money. 